And this is how you deal with CPS. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. The house looks good. Last time I was here, you were guys were still in the camper. Oh, yeah. Nice. Everything, you're settled in good and mm -hmm. yep. got a lot more room, right? Very, very nice. Okay. So, I, I'll just go through reading the report and whatever. I know I, talk, I talked to you, but I don't know if Chad overheard, you know, me talking. Oh, yeah. I listened to you everything. You heard on? Okay. Yeah, I had it on speaker. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Wow, that sounds bright. For, it's amazing. Um, so the report just says that Kristen, age 14, is a vulnerable child around the time of Thanksgiving and Christmas of 2023. That should be 2022, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> Let me change that. Uh, Kristen began experiencing pain in her vaginal and uterine area over several weeks with the pain for Kirsten. With the, with the pain, Kirsten, I don't know, this is not written correct. Kirsten intensifying to the extent that the mother was made aware that the child needed medical care at that time. Mother agreed to take Kirsten to the doctor, but never did. Today, 6 7 23, it was learned that Kirsten remains in discomfort around the genitalia area, but the mother has refused to provide child with needed treatment. That's the report. So I know we talked on the phone when the report came in, and you said you were never made aware. Uh, that the school that there that there was I was pain. made aware that she had a, a smell. Okay. That was it. Okay. Never pain no. discomfort. Never. And, and what women don't get their period and get cramps. You know, I mean Right, right. Come on. It happens. Um do you remember who notified you of that at school what um staff member? I don't remember. Okay. Um probably a guidance counselor or social worker or something like that. That's somebody she works Pro with Probably a guidance counselor. Okay. Not me. Okay. So after they told you that there was a concern with smell, did you do anything different? Did you talk to Kirsten about it? Anything oh, like that? Of course I did. Okay. I, what did she say? What was her thoughts? I know you said because she she, yeah. she lays in bed constantly. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for it being spring and summer, she wears long sweatpants mm -hmm. and sweatshirts. Yeah. You're gonna have a stench. Well, yeah. with laying yeah. in bed and being yeah. covered up. And we're okay. talking to her about hygiene issues. Okay. Yeah. You know, so we are going through with her and, you know, constantly telling her she can't okay. be laying in bed all the time. Okay. All right. Especially when it's hot out. She don't like to keep her window open to allow yeah. air coming through. Yeah. I mean, I guess some people are hotter than others, have a higher temperature. But, um, yeah, I, like when I've seen her, she's had, like you said, the sweatshirts and the pants on. And that doesn't really allow your body to breathe. No, or... it doesn't. You know all that um so yeah i mean definitely you stay there um you know talking to her about like you said hygiene uh you know everybody has different levels and different practices of hygiene mm -hmm. you know some people religiously shower every day i've seen people that shower two three times a day some people go a few days you know everybody's different and i think it's different it's you can't really say what's right or wrong because everybody's body's different you know yeah. some people can go days and not swell or sweat or smell or their hair doesn't get greasy or wh whatever yeah uh, but like you said especially at her age when she has her period anything like that going on <clears throat> she really should be showering every day you know she should be keeping things clean uh for you know just her own health and well-being not even the smell so much but um you know and she's kind of at that age where girls are kind of learning about their bodies things change quickly um, you know, so sometimes having a, a, a mom or an adult to kind of, you know, give them some, some tips and tricks sometimes, uh, you know, kids don't uh, pick up on that stuff by, by themselves or they get misinformation from school sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so that, and I know they talk about this stuff in school, but um, I feel like they talk about it way before sometimes and by the time some girls get their period, they don't maybe remember some of it. So, yeah. Um, you know, but there's definitely, there's more resources and things out there than when we were kids, you know. Usually it was just like, oh, here's this book, read it, you know, you're, mm -hmm. um, but there's, you know, actual tools, things online that are actually helpful or whatever. But, um, so she's the only one that gives you trouble doing that is just Pearson? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I mean, now well, that... lately she has been coming home from school. Okay. And asking to take a shower and I keep okay. telling her, why are you asking? Yeah, right. You got, uh, there's two bathrooms in this house. Okay. Full bathroom. So you guys use your bathroom, the girls our use Our bathroom theirs? is in our room. Okay. Their bathroom is right okay, next so to Okay, so as long as one of the other girls isn't in it, she can use it. 
And if one is in their bathroom, we allow them to use okay. her bathroom. All right. Yeah. I mean, she just have to ask to you know to use the shower. But um, okay. Um, is that that's usually at night? You said the other girls usually get in at night. Um. Well, Kirsten, she usually gets in as soon as she comes home from okay. school. Okay. All right. Which is around four fifteen. Okay. I know sometimes it's hard with multiple kids if you have one bathroom. Some get in in the morning, some get, you know, but a lot of kids, it's, they don't Well, have we have them the do it at nighttime. Yeah. It's that way, in the morning, yeah. you know, while they're in bed, they don't smell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, so obviously that's something just keep, you know, discussing the, that, the hygiene stuff with her. Um. Did you get the, the paper I faxed you? I did get it. Thank you. Um. And like I said, it was a rash. Okay. Um, and you said the doctor did a full exam down yes. there? Okay. Yes. Yes. She right. had to get undressed. Okay. She did all, all of right. it. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I, you know, I don't know what was going on, you know. So that's she knew right off the rip what it was. Okay. Because he's the one that brought her. And they said powder or something. They said a the cream. Chasing. Okay. Gold bond cream. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of that. All right. Um, uh, they like to howl when people knock on the door and stuff. Are they howlers? No? No, those two are. She was abused when she came Aww. from the SPCA. So she's got some different behaviors, right? Okay. Well, I got her from my mother. I got her from the SPCA. Aww. Or baby. All right. Um, this is physical address, mailing address, the number I called you is the best number to call you if I need to, right? Uh, I got all your dates of birth. Either are you working right now? No? Okay. He's disabled and I take care of my kids. Okay. My kids are disabled. Okay. Uh, we, we, we address the allegations. What do you do for discipline usually for the kids? Take their phones and shut the internet it's off. It's the internet. Okay. The internet's a big issue. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Do they like to stay up late and do stuff? or? Oh, of course. Okay. Normal I, kids. I tell lots of parents, take the, like I said, turn the Wi-Fi off, take the controllers, take the phones. Well, if we take, if we take the Wi-Fi and shut it off, yeah. they have no access to anything. Right. Regardless if they have the yeah. remote or not. I mean, some, ga some very few games or phones have, you know, games that are not internet, you know, needed. So, um... But yeah, that seems to be the best way to, to get through to them as far as discipline. No physical discipline. No. No? Okay. I've never hit my child ever in my life. Okay. Don't uh, need to. Okay. Um, and obviously they're older now, so. Um, any alcohol, drug use? No. Nothing socially? We don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, we don't talk yeah. to anybody, just our neighbor, which yeah. is right there. Yep. Okay. I mean, obviously you guys are an ad adult as long as you have a sober caretaker. Uh, if one of you's drinking or you know smoking or something, one of you's got to be sober, or you have a babysitter. Uh, mental health issues for anybody? I just wrote on my face. <laughs> no? Nope. Okay. Uh, any current or past domestic violence? If you're talking like thirty years ago, about twenty something years ago. For you? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's it can be past or present. Past. Uh, any criminal history for either of you? Arrests or nope. anything? No probation, parole? No. Nope. Okay. Um, chronic health issues that anybody takes any medication for? I got an umbilical hernia. Okay. All right. Which I'm going to be getting surgery on. Okay. Is that like an outpatient thing or are you going to be laid up for a I'm while? not sure. Okay. Well, I got to call and ask more questions. Okay. No, well, hopefully that goes well and uh, you get, get over that and can rest. Um, obviously, any medications keep them up where the kids can't get them or the dog. Um, any learning disabilities for anybody in the house? Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, which kids? The two oldest ones. Two oldest, okay. And, and... <laughs> Ethnicity that you guys consider yourself to be? American. Okay. Any support systems you guys, like friends, family that you use for, you know, you need a ride, you need help with something? Our neighbor. Randy, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, neighbor. Any services, food stamps, wig, key pod, any of that stuff? Food stamps and heat. And Medicaid? Anybody that you would give as a reference to speak on your behalf? Randy. Okay, you have a phone number for him? Not right offhand. We don't really need it anyways, but... Okay. I mean... You can give it to me. Yeah. Usually we ask one personal reference and one professional. The professional would be the doctor, because that's what the report's about. So we would put that in. 
Um, we just ask like the same questions that I just asked you guys. We ask, you know, how often do you see the kids? Any concerns with domestic violence? Any, you know, everything I just asked you. And if he's your neighbor and stony for a while, he'd be probably one of the best people to talk to. And he's known us since we've lived here. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys have been here for quite a while, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Years. Okay. Um, that's good to have to have neighbors that are decent. Um, okay. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get the case closed as soon as I can kind of get all my ducks in a row. Um, if something happens, you don't hear from me for a bit or you wonder what's going on, just give me a call and I'll just probably say it's still open. I just, you know, sometimes emergencies happen and we get all thrown out of whack and we're doing other, other crazy cases for a while and we can't get back here. Um, so I know Kirsten went to Bassett. All the other kids go to Bassett yep. for everything. Okay. Are they up to date with everything? Yep. Okay. Bassett. The next appointment is in December. Okay. All, all three of them? Yep. That's like the yearly physical or whatever? Okay. And their okay. shots and stuff. Okay. Yeah, usually if they're not up to date with at least physicals, the school will get a hold of you and say, hey, they can't come back to school until you... I I've already had to do that with Tyra. Okay. I don't, and I'm not even sure. So I know some of the districts you can use the district doctor, but a lot of people don't need to do that. Because um, it's like the sports doctor they use. Um, all right. Um, will you sign releases for the doctors? No. No? Okay. Um, will you sign a release for me to talk to Randy? If Randy wants to talk to you, which I doubt. Because he's just like me. He doesn't want to talk to you, so. Okay. Well, I can have you guys sign it, and if he doesn't. No, we're him, not signing nothing. Okay. Uh, any other community resources you guys use? Catholic charities, community maternities, any service providers like that? No. Nope. No? Okay. All right. Um, and you said you won't let me in the house? No. Okay. There's no reason to. It's one of our standards. Yeah, it's, it's your pol it, it's a policy. It's policy, not law. It is. It is. No, it's, it's it not. No, it's not. It requires us to make a home visit. Yeah, it's policy. Is it not necessarily I'm, inside? Well, we, we have to assess the safety of the There house. we go. So in order to do that, we need to have to look inside. So what's the Fourth Amendment about? That just means people walk in people's houses willy-nilly? I told you on the phone. I'm not going to force my way in. I can't force anyone to do anything I'm not going to. I know, that's because the Fourth Amendment protects us of that. What I'm trying to explain is there's lots of things that we assess going into the house that, you know, sometimes we can't assess otherwise. I know, like you said, Teddy's been in the house. But why would we help you build a case against us, though? That's what I don't understand. I, even though there's nothing well, that's going on or anything wrong Typically, if you have us. nothing to hide. No, no, no. You're a social worker. Your job is to take people's kids. That's My your job. My job is to keep kids safe. No, it's not. Maybe, maybe, okay. maybe you're different. Don't get me wrong. Maybe you're different from all the other ones I've met throughout my life, but I haven't met one that's there to help you yet. We asked for help, and you took our two boys. Yeah, I did. I asked so, for help years ago. And instead of helping me, I got my kids taken. So we know better than that. So yeah, I don't I, trust I, I any CPS. I understand you guys have a pretty uh, long history, and it's not oh, all been good. So again, I, I had nothing to do with that. I but I understand your feelings. Um, I'm just saying, you know, the state has requirements. We have to ask. If you say no, then I will note that you said no. Um, and like I said, since Teddy comes to see you, obviously, if he had any concerns, I'm sure he, he would have already voiced them. Yep. Um, and he's going to be coming this month anyways. Okay, I will definitely check in with him then. Um, thank you for answering all my questions. Any questions you guys have about anything? Nope. No? Okay. And you have the cream, the gold box Yes, stuff? I do. Okay. I've got two different kinds, liquid okay. and cream. Okay, it seems to be helping so far. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, my number is the same. If you have, like I said, any questions or anything, uh, get a hold of me. Um, and, uh, you know, if Randy wants to talk to me, you can give him my number. He can call. If he doesn't, then... He doesn't. Okay. Mm. All right, guys. Anything else? Nope. Nope. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. You too. Thank you. The walk of shame. And there's the drama shame, ladies and gentlemen. No warrant, no entry. Just lucky we answered the little questions we did. But you ain't getting nothing from us and you ain't building no case against us. Have a nice day. There it is, the drama shame. Goodbye.